what's going on guys okay uh i'm finally getting around to working on my power pole attachment i just took these uh rescued these from some scrap at work and uh welded this box on here got this piece already drilled on my last video and i think i'm gonna angle it this direction i think it looks pretty cool plus i'm gonna put a the power pole is gonna go through here and then i'm gonna hang a pulley right here and it's gonna go through a hole here paracord that goes down and attaches to the bottom of the power pole where you can pull it back up and down and then it'll be in line through there put me some pad eyes on here and go up to the somewhere around the steering area by my seat and place a like a cleat or a gripper cleat something like that so just bear with me we're going to drill some holes and tap some holes here's my pulley i'm thinking of using i'm not sure if i'm going to this is just one i had on hand that i bought from uh, harbor freight several years ago and uh I may mount it in here. I may not. I may go get a different one. Just depends. But I've got a uh, quarter 20 tap here. And a number seven drill bit. And I'm gonna tap this plate and mount it. We'll go four inches off of that. So, there and there. We will go, let's just say, three quarter. That'll be one, two, three. With the center punch. Close enough. here all right i'm on through hole the top side is going to be through holes they're going to be a quarter inch this is where i'm going to mark my holes after i drill these and tap them Let's go up to a quarter inch bit. Open these up. All right. Now these are stainless quarter 20 bolts. And they will fit through a quarter inch hole and they're pretty tight not a lot of slop at all and that's what you want on stuff like this you don't want a lot of slop where it might get loose and move around you know that's never good you want something to be nice and tight i've removed this plate i'm gonna line it up on my original marks i made and then i'm gonna clamp it well, these dogs here while I drill it see see there now I'm going to now what I'm going to do is get my quarter inch drill bit that I made these holes with just since uh, my transfer punches are at work I'm going to use the quarter inch bit Now I've got a center for these holes. Since my center punches are at work, 
Can you see that? Anyway, take this off. Let's see, take this off. Now, see, we got three hole, three spots here already indicated. Take that out, put this number seven in. There's my holes that I can tap now. Let's take this over here. Now then, got this, this. This is a quarter twenty gun tap. They, gun taps are my preferred tap when I can use them. The bad to the bone. All right, let's see how this goes. Like a charm. Check it out. Two more holes. Tried to keep it as straight as I could. That way, everything works like it should. Okay. Now let's put this back on here. Uh oh, wrong one. Let's put this back on here. Remember from the last video, I showed y'all these bolts that the uh, that Jackson put in are not vertical or plumb. They're leaning outward like that. Instead of straight up and down. So it's hard to get a hole to line up. I should have slotted them left and right, but who knew it was gonna be off? Not me. Let's see if our holes line up. And if they're off any, I can drill this outer hole a little bigger. Which ain't no big deal, but I don't want any slop in it, so. That one is in. That one is in. There's two good ones. Where's my other bolt? I think I put it over here. Yeah. There's some tea nuts I was I got from my kayak. Third hole. lines up good too so I need to get it up a little higher I have these stainless nuts here to lock it in place and now I need to add some more to lock it at a certain height at the height I want and right now I'm just gonna raise it up one nut height which is uh about a quarter inch just jam it up against the other nut mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i've got to order my power pole i hadn't ordered it yet i'm just gonna get a uh, stakeout stick 
off uh, Yak Attack website. There we go. I think that'll be a pretty good height. Got it on backwards again. There we go. It's a little better. May have to get some longer uh, all threads. See if they'll grab. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lovely. Put this right here. Where's my hole at? Oh yeah, plenty of clearance. Plenty of clearance. I could probably bring it down lower if I need to. Alright. That worked great. Okay. It looks good. Looks good. Now what I'm gonna do, like I said, power pole goes through here. Goes all the way down to the ground. It's gonna be seven or eight foot. I'm gonna put a pulley right here. Going through a hole down here from a power cord. I'll probably put a little plastic bushing there keep from wearing on the cable the cord all right i figured out what i'm gonna do i took that uh double pulley apart i happen to notice that they'll come apart and i got a pull pin i'm going to get a shorter pin right here and i'm going to I'm going to drill a hole through here, put the pin in, pin it off, I'll put the pin in from this side, pin it off, and then I'll be set. Drill a hole right there, rock and roll. So I've already pre-measured uh, the height where I need my hole. This one is uh, three quarter on center looks like. So three quarter up from here plus a quarter from here and this is a four inch square so what we're gonna do we're gonna give it a little bit of a little bit of play we're gonna mark it at two and seven eighths that'll get us three quarter off the face plus another eighth and we should be clear. I'm gonna mark. See there? And we're gonna start small. We're gonna start with a 3 16 pallet hole. Let's see. This is gonna clear. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think we can get shape. Now, I'm gonna step it up a size to a quarter. Don't wanna hog through it. I'm gonna step it up all the way. And 
know this one fit. Because it fits through here. There we go. Please. There we is. There we is. You know, I originally just kind of guessed at my hole here. But I'm obviously going to move my hole over here. Stand this up so we can get a Good idea where my hole is going to be. Right there. We'll get a measurement and we'll drill it from the bottom side. Inch and a half this direction. Inch and a quarter this direction. Somewhere in there. Now yeah, let's put it back on. Oh, good. Now, yeah, Leah. We got something going on now. I get my shorter pin. Put a washer here. Pin it off as close as I can. That's probably what I'll do. I'll do the pin on that side, washer, and keeper pin here. That way there won't be any drag up against the head and the wall. Let's see. We'll run the paracord over the pulley. Down through the hole. Check it out. I could just leave that on there. Not do anything different. This will go down to the power pole. And then I'll put me a cleat here. Try to keep it in line. So it's not dragging up against anything. I'll put one here. All right, guys, I found some pet eyes and I'm going to mount it right here. I've already pre-drilled a hole for the first one. Let's get it started. Got some stainless screws. Go ahead and line them up. Take a little bitty 332 drill bit and make me a pre-drill. I've got a wrench tied to the other end to give it a little weight. The only thing you hear is that pulley. Should my other one be right here because I'm thinking that if I get one of those uh, anchor wizards, one of the things you reel in, I'm gonna probably want it up here. I got a lot of stuff going on right here in my way. This is a steering that folds over, that's nice and smooth no drag 
I think I do need one of those reels though because free spool when it drops the anchor to the bottom. You know what? I could until I get my uh, power pole. I can put my anchor on there. I'm just gonna tie it to it for now. See if that works. That's a good bit heavier there. I can pull that up. And then when I get somewhere where I want to drop it, I'll just drop my anchor. And she'll hold. I've never thought I would need an anchor until I started fishing some lakes. And the wind is so bad during this time of year. I mean, if you get a pretty day to fish, you got to deal with 20 mile an hour winds. It's just ridiculous. And I tried this anchor a while back at a lake. And I mean, it worked great. And I just dropped it off the side right here, had it tied to this handle. And it kept me right where I wanted it to be. But at the back, I can put my kayak upwind to where I'm wanting to fish. And that'll hold me right there. I think it's as far as I'm gonna take it today. I'm gonna study on it a little while. I'm gonna put all my tools up. And we are almost ready. I've gotta order my power pole. And we'll be ready to roll. I may leave this long pin, just leave both of these in. Cause this is all about saving a dollar, you know what I'm saying? I could have bought one off of Yak Attack or something for a hundred bucks. And, uh, but the, they didn't have the one I was looking for. They had one for a Jackson Kusa. This is a Jackson Bite. The tail end where the mounts are are different. So, this is my only option right now. So, we're going to save a dollar and DIY it. But, uh, all right, guys, that's all I'm going to do today to the boat. Uh, I think everything's working pretty good. So uh, we'll catch y'all again on the creek.